Okay, so let me just leave you with this, and then I'm going to ask uh, for 10 minutes, uh, give you time to just talk with one other person about tomorrow, okay? Um, we, we've gone through four Ds. We've talked about stories and cases where, quote, we're doing AE. We're facilitating AE, or you're, you're adapting AE, and um, it always looks in the beginning like, well, it's, it's orchestrating and doing things to others. Uh, that's not what it's about <laughs> at the end of the day. As soon as you try it on a little bit, you'll quickly realize that um, just because of, the w of what it is, it requires an internal alignment. You, you really have to feel comfortable with the basic values. You can't, you can't just use it as a tool, quote unquote, for a group, for a, another person in coaching or something like that. Um, I mean, you can, but it will feel weird. Um, you, you really need to feel comfortable with sort of the basic ideas that we've been talking around and mentioning over and over. Power of stories, the, the, the need to turn and search for strengths, the fact that you find what you're looking for, uh, that questions are fateful, that conversations are the heart of human organizing. Everything lies in the next conversation. All of your influence is maximized in the next conversation. Your choice about how you start it, what questions you're asking, what you personally are open to learning or not in that conversation, that's where your influence is. It's, it's not in waving a wand and changing a system or changing a process. It's, it only happens through the next and the next and the next conversation. Your agency, our agency, is in the questions we ask. So um, it's not about doing things to people. It's not about creating positivity. It will, and you need to have positivity in the space for real innovation to happen, for real collaboration to happen. So positivity is a means to a larger end, but it is not the purpose, it's not the goal. The, the biggest misuse of IE is to use it to convene a meeting and make everybody feel happy in the beginning of the meeting. And then to just go into your normal habits and you ask people for ideas, but you never really involve them in decisions and things like that. You, you create inconsistencies in people's minds. And then they walk away saying, well, if that's AI, you know, forget it. Um, it's not about creating positivity, but you need to generate positivity to get to real collaboration. It is about generative connections. I think I mentioned this, but generative connections is a unique kind of connection where you and I, or a group of us, co-discover a new idea and, big and, in doing that, we have an intrinsic wish to work on it together, to work with each other on that idea. We, ha we have an energy and, a, and an orientation to want to work together. So it's different from most interactions in organizations day to day. Uh, you, you, any one of us can go have a meeting tomorrow where we generate ideas uh, with some version of brainstorming. We all know how to do that. We've all done it. But at the end of that meeting, the ideas belong to who? Whoever convened the meeting. They're yours. Everybody else is going to wait. They're going to wait for you to delegate. They're going to wait for you to invite them back to another meeting. They're going to wait for you to take a subset of the ideas and then send it back to them for more data, et cetera, et cetera. They, they're passive. 
they, they may have enjoyed the meeting, they may have had good argument, they may have had bad argument, but it's done. So now the ideas are yours. In a generative connection, you have to get out of the way. They are going to start acting in the hallway leaving that meeting and later on they may ask for forgiveness. They're not going to ask for permission. So, so they were co-creating the new ideas, which also happened in the other example, but in the way they were co-creating, they come to this place where they want to work on it together. They can't wait. That's a generative connection. And I think that is the ultimate purpose of AI, is to bring multiple stakeholders together, create a space where it's possible for a generative connection to surface. Because then there's self-motivation. And it's collective, not individual. But there's nobody up here saying, okay, you guys go work on that, this idea, no, I, I want to think about that more, and then I'll get back to you. There's, there's nobody saying that. Everybody's together, and they're in different pockets of generative connections. Lastly, personally, I think it's about being humble and curious. As much and as continuously as I can which obviously isn't all day, it's not, it's not all my waking hours. But the more I can um, be curi genuinely curious with humility, uh, I think that's the key to being uh, AI, not just being seen as doing it for others. Uh, okay? So, again, just 10 minutes, pair off, and simply ask each other, what could you do tomorrow with any of these ideas, any of these ideas, to be different, to experiment, to try things on for yourself? Okay, we're not gonna report this, it's just, I want to end with the focus now coming this way, all right, inside, but talk it with somebody else, all right? Ten minutes, we'll chime and bring you back.